we're going to try to take a deeper look at this equation. So even if you can solve this quickly, stay with me. Let's talk about some things, especially if you're at the Algebra 1 level, uh, working towards Algebra 2, or maybe you're in Algebra 2 and you still struggle with some equations sometimes. Um, maybe some of this stuff will help. Uh, so first, to get x by itself, we want to do the opposite of adding 11, which is subtracting 11 from both sides. So we subtract 11 from both sides, and that gives us 1 fourth x is equal to negative 3. Now, do watch your negative signs there. Continue to practice your mental math if, you're, um, t if you have a hard time subtracting in negative numbers or dealing with negative numbers. Now, this is something where we have 1 fourth x, and it's 1 fourth times x. So one common thing to think is a divide by 1 fourth, which does work. But you want to try to get away from that. So instead of dividing by 1 fourth, uh, we want to multiply by 4 on both sides. And that is the same thing. And this is something you need to be uh, thinking about as you solve this equation and ones like it, that dividing by a fourth and multiplying by a fourth are the same thing. 4 divided by 4 on this side, or 4 times 1 fourth, is just 1. And make sure you can think about it both ways. And then over here we have negative 12. And so x is negative 12. Uh, it's a good idea to plug this in and make sure it works. Negative 12 times 1 fourth is the same thing as negative 12 divided by 4, which is negative 3 plus 11, which is 8. And 8 is equal to 8, so that checks out. So we did that right, which is good. The last thing to think about here is sometimes you see this written like 1 fourth times x. This is the same thing as x over 4 plus 11 equals 8. And this x over 4 is a common thing that throws people off. Uh, so just having this idea that x over 4 and 1 fourth x are the same thing, just a different way to write it, is a good concept to know.